So claim one should just be the elements here, right? Let's go over and see how we go. So immediately when, a lo when we look at the claim, we find the name of the invention, the important thing, a power, this is power source, control device. I wonder what this relates to. We were just talking about this system and now it's this power source control device. Let's just quickly see where that is. Okay, it doesn't appear anywhere. It appears in only the claims and the summary it looks like. So what does this actually relate to? Well, let's see what it does first. I mean, as we were talking about before, it's a system for controlling the supply of power. All right, let's just keep going and see if we get our answer. Comprising. Now, hmm, this device you can see includes these elements here. But after this transition, it's also saying that it includes these other elements. So what we have here is a, a two-part claim. So what it's saying here is that these are not the features of the invention. These are kind of like in the general art. This is, this is like general knowledge. This is known technology. The special thing about our invention is down here. The trouble is when translating for US application. You can't use this form. This form is literally characterized in that. If I was to do this claim like a mirror translation for PCT provided with a plurality of power supply devices, power source, provided in a vehicle that is provided, just for example, I've translated all this. If this was for PCT or even like a WIPO abstract, this is literally characterized in that and that down here you would say these elements. So this is the tricky part when you're translating, depending on the client, depending on your company, how you treat this section will be very different because I would love to just put here comprising and then just listing these elements together with these elements. But I don't think we can in this case because of this split here. So I might just go in between. So power source control device provided in a vehicle that is provided. This describes this that is provided with a plurality of power supply devices that supply power from up here, power from a power source, this is our battery, to sore sore suru. Okay, so 
Here we see the load as a polarity. The way it's written here, loads as a polarity. The question is, are there the relationship between these? So there's a polarity of power supply devices and a polarity of loads. The relationship seems to be a one-to-one -one relationship. So it's for one of these, there's one of these. So if we look at our drawing, that would probably mean that for every load, there's one of these. And even though the name, the name is different, isn't it? And the drawings, it's a your unit, but here it's a supply device. Now I want to make sure of this because this relationship, this one-to-one -one relationship is important here. So I want, to, I want to make sure that this does actually correspond to this. Let's just do a quick search for... Let's see if this is in the specification. So when looking into the specification, try to find sections with the number, with the reference number. And there's no, there's no reference number with this. So now let's find what supplies power to the load. If we find what supplies power to the load, we can find our, our supply source. Okay find some numbers. All right, here we go. Okay, so it was up where we were translating before. So here, okay, in our system. So it's controlling the supply, but we want what supplies the power. Controls the supply. So we're still not sure. It's this is controlling the supply, but in the claims it said it supplies. So it's different wording. I'm still not sure whether it is the same. Hmm. So it consistently seems to be saying controls the supply, not just supply. Okay, that's interesting. Controls the supply. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to assume that we're talking about the same thing here. So I'm just going to assume that this is just a one-to-one -one relationship and this is what we're talking about here. Okay, so now we know, well, we're sort of guessing that it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Let's go with our translation. Polarity of power supply devices, that supply power from a power source to loads. So at the moment, the way it's written, it's just polarity, polarity, the one-to-one -one relationship is is not there at the moment. And we could actually even just write that. Uh, uh, one, two, one relationship. And that wouldn't be wrong. The polarity of power supply devices supply power to loads in a one-to-one -one relationship. This is made clear, the Japanese here, to corresponding loads. Let's look at if we just put corresponding loads, use corresponding to describe the load. Polarity of power supply devices, a supply power to corresponding loads. It doesn't seem wrong. 
doesn't seem bad. And the thing is, even if this is not 100% clear, this is going to be explained in the specification. So looking at this, the meaning of this will be defined by what's in the specification. So I think just because this is closer to the original, we'll stick with this and we'll keep going. Now we came to our transition here. And I am going to hit comp say comprising here. Um, as I said before, if this was for WIPO, for strict PCT translation, you could put the is characterized in that. But today I'm just going to go comprising and let's get to our elements here. So what are we looking at first? We have a total current detection unit. Current, just make sure I got the right word here. Yep, total current detection unit. It's an electrical configuration, so unit is the best here. And what does it do? It detects a total current value, which is a sum of Okay, so it looks like there's lots of loads and they each have a current value and this is the total, it's the sum, it's all of those current values of all of these loads added together. Now in translating backwards this way, we now have a problem that the, the Zenki, the antecedent basis is kind of switched around. So how are we going to get around this? Let's just translate it out first. Sum of uh, current values of sum of load current values. Okay, so it's saying Zenki, so it comes from, I'm going to guess up here. Okay, current values on the basis of load current values supplied to the loads. The loads is described up here from the power supply device and we have Kaku. So this is the polarity up here. It is the polarity up here. Okay. So let's keep with polarity from polarity of now what is this? So it's detected. What is detected? The load current values detected by the polarity of power supply devices. Alright, let's see if we got all the elements out there. So it's a total current detection unit. So just plainly speaking, each load is supplied with a current and you add those currents together to get a total current and this detects the total current. 
So where does each current come from? Each current is supplied to the loads from the power supply device. And the currents are detected by the power supply device. So as you can see here, this is what we're talking about. The power comes through into the unit here and it detects the, the load current and then sends it through. So yeah, this unit here is doing the controlling and the supplying in that sense. Okay, so we answered that question. Now let's make sure our translation is okay. Total current detection unit detects a total current value. Forgot our comma there, which is, so we're ex explaining this, which is a sum of load current values. So that's all of those load current values added together. And this is detected on the basis of load current values. So because we got this here, we have to put the here of the load current values supplied. This has to be to the loads from the polarity power supply devices these currents are detected by okay we got everything oh alrighty every time I do these uh, I get surprised they're trickier than what I thought they would be so there's our first element let's have a look at our second element here what's oh, another big one how are you guys doing have you guys translated this beforehand? Are you guys translating it now? Let us know if you need me to slow down or if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer. All right, so our next element here is down the bottom here. A power supply control unit. Okay, okay, okay. Supply control unit. So we'll just start at the bottom. What does it do? Okay, it actually does a couple of things. I look up here. It's going, in the case of A happening, it selects a load and then it notifies to stop. Okay, so there's three parts to this element. In the case of this, it does this and this. So which order should we go with? I think the best way in these sort of claims are to go in the same order as the Japanese. That in case in which the total current value exceeds, so we're just translating this part here, a predetermined total current threshold. So we've got that condition. When this condition is met, what does this unit do? It first selects the load. Now up here there was a polarity of loads. So I suspect that this is selecting one load from the polarity. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the specification to look, but I suspect that it's selecting one load to stop. 
and you can see I think I'm right because you can see here it's saying that there's an order an order of maybe like important loads to not important loads and it's saying all right the ones that are not important we will stop so I'm 99% sure that this is saying one this means one load this doesn't mean the polarity you can see up here that in this claim load was initially introduced as a polarity right we had a polarity of loads corresponding to a polarity of these but down here we can see that it's just selecting one load when this happens that's I'm not a nine percent sure I might be wrong but for the sake of this translation I'm going to assume that this is one one load so how do we deal with that if the Japanese has not correctly identified this selects a load of the polarity of loads so it's selecting one or more load of this larger group this is how I would do it to stop supply of power to on the basis of a predetermined priority order okay so based on this order important loads not important loads it selects one or more of all of the loads to stop now this part here what does this say okay so it's this is what it's trying to do this is the purpose of this selection I'm just worried that this might relate to not just here but down here as well okay okay but I think it's okay uh, actually no I think this does apply to both of these so I might leave I might leave this section to the end we trans translated this and just for clarity I'm going to put a line break here so I don't get lost what else does it do it notifies the again so this is really this is a really good example actually um, this device also was initially a plurality in the Japanese up here it's a polarity of these devices here it is but coming down here it's saying that it's got the same it's just got Zenki this but it's not the polarity this is talking about one corresponding to the one load selected so again we have to change it we have to get a bit creative notifies a uh, power supply device of the polarity of power supply devices that corresponds now it's got the s there so it's going to obviously describe this one not the polarity it's to the uh, load selected now I didn't want to write selected load because this would lose the antecedent basis from here up here it is not a selected load it is a load 
So it needs to keep the same structure. So we need to put select it after it. Okay, so notifies one of these of the polarity, that one corresponding to the selected one. And what does it notify about? Okay, so it tells it tells it to stop the supply of power. So you notify in this case, is it an instruction? Or is it an alert? If it's just an alert saying, hey, we need to stop, that is very different from if this means an instruction to stop. So if this is an instruction to stop, then it will stop the device. But if this is just an alert, an alert that won't stop the device. Translating this Tsuchi as notify gives it the alert meaning. It doesn't mean instruction notify. So I think we have to change this when and instructs to stop pap uh, supply I would need to look at the specification but just by understanding what it's trying to do here it wants to stop it sending an alert will not help with that so I think this is rather than a notification or an alert. I think this is actually sending an instruction to stop. So I'm going to leave that as instruct. I might be wrong. Get back to me. And so now we have to go back and translate this to bring the total current value uh, to bring the total value equal to or less than the total current threshold. I'm wondering if bring is okay here. I can't put decrease even though that it does mean decrease here to decrease the total value but decrease is not in here it's just naru so i don't want to use decrease but bring is bring okay to bring the total current value it just doesn't flow to a value I think I have to put this in here, otherwise it doesn't make sense. To a value equal to or less than the total current threshold. Okay, I think we need this in here for it to make sense in English. Oh, all right, we made it. Ah, oh. how are you guys? Are you still with me? So there were a few tricky things in there. Um, the trickiest one was probably the change from the polarity. Both of these elements, these the load and the supply device, were introduced as a polarity. But in the same in the same claim, they were used in a situation which means that only one one was selected here one or more remember one always means one or more in a claim this does not mean all of them it is not selecting all of them to shut down it is selecting one or more of the polarity to shut down 
So in Japanese claims, this is very common. It will use the same Zenki element, but it will be a change from polarity to singular. The way I get around that is by translating it like this. A load of the polarity of loads. And then below, when this gets used again, you have this as a new element that you can then use again below the load. So, you've, so you're introducing a new element is kind of the way to think about it. And that's useful because now you have the polarity and the singular, both as elements in the claim that you can then use. The other tricky part was probably this notify. I'm really interested into whether this means sending an alert or whether it means instructing the device to stop. All right. So that's it for today. Um, any questions before I go? I'm really interested in what do you think of these? If any of you translated the claims before today and if you have any differences, I would love to hear how you translated it. So I'll give you a moment to send me a comment if <laughs> All right, my kids here. Do you want to say hi, Bio? Yeah. To the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just on YouTube at the moment. Yeah. Daddy's talking to his friends. All right, looks like there's no comments and my kids are here, so I might call it a day, guys. Thank you and see you next week.